In this video, I show you how to download and install your NVIDIA drivers for your computer. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do watch this video right until the end of the full steps. And let's go and get straight into this. I'm now on my desktop and let's go and continue with this. So when I go and right click, as you can see, I go and have this option for the NVIDIA control panel and I have all of my drivers fully installed. I want to show you exactly how you can do this as well. First thing we need to go and do is make sure we know the exact model of the NVIDIA graphics card we have. So in order to do that, all you need to do is right click on your Windows icon and then you want to go and locate Device Manager just here, go and click here. Then we go and get this menu here, I'm just going to go and zoom in on this for you. And you need to go and locate Display Adapters which is just here. So go and click on this arrow on the left hand side and as you can see it goes and says I've got the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660. That's really useful to know and we basically have to know it uh, to go and make sure we go and get the correct drivers. So close off of this now and you want to go and open up a web browser. So I'm now on Google and you now need to go and search for NVIDIA drivers. Do keep watching, I'm showing the official website. There we go, and then what you want to do is make sure you go and see avidia.com or avidia.co.uk, it's the official site. So wait for it to load, and then all you want to do is move down to manual driver search. So for under product type, go and type in yours. So mine is a personally a GeForce one. When it comes to the product series, as we just located, mine was a GeForce 16 series. Then it's gonna take a moment to update. Then I can go and change this to just the normal 1660, just like this. Then my operating system is Windows 10 64 bit. Then you need to go and choose your operating system. As you can see, I'm on Windows 10, but if you're on Windows 11, go and do that. For the language, that's up to you, but I am English and I'm in the UK, so I'll use that. And then for the download type, I recommend just having all, just like so, and then go and click Start Search. Then there's gonna be a loading screen and you want to then scroll down to Driver Results. And as you can see, you want to go and make sure you get the most recent GeForce Game Ready Driver. As you can see, this is the latest version and it really was released on the 22nd of March. This is probably gonna be different for you uh, because you're probably watching this video at a later date. Then go and click on Get Download, just like so, and it's gonna take a moment for this to load. And you then need to go and click on Download Now. Then it's gonna go and drop the download and as you can see, it's around 800 megabytes. So it is quite a big download and it may take some time to download depending on your connection. So all you want to do is go and wait for this to finish downloading and then go and install it. The install process is really straightforward. You just run it just like any other program. Then I'll go and show the end result of after you've gone and installed it. So now you should have gone and installed the Nvidia driver. And once you go and install it, you're gonna get a lot more customizability for your graphics card. And also it's just gonna be a lot better because it's properly installed for your graphics card. So all you want to do is come to the magnifying glass and go and search for NVIDIA. And as you can see, we've gone and got GeForce Experience and the NVIDIA control panel. So if I go and click on Experience, we're going to get this really useful menu and you can go and customize games and you can also go and click on settings as well. And there's a ton of stuff you can go and use. For example, stuff like screen recording and other things like that as well. And if we go and search for NVIDIA again and go and choose the other option, we've also got the control panel. And in here, you can go and customize everything from 3D settings to display to video. And as you can see, I'm just in the resolution section right now and you can go and change the refresh rate um, and the resolution as well. So there we go, guys. If you did find this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.